this one is square shaped, as they all are, except uh, one in one of the two in one is not. Obviously, you couldn't have two square shaped cranks. There'd be no point. And we'll go through here now. Now we need to head back up to the second floor by the star's office, and we'll figure out what we need to do once we get up there. There are never any enemies in here, at least, at least as far as I know. In three there are, but in two there are not. Just the hands, like Gropio. Yeah, that's what they do. Just so you know, door on the right here is locked with a diamond key, and the door under the stairs is for a storage room, which we will go to when we actually have a reason to go there. Trying to streamline this as best I can, we don't want to waste time going in rooms that actually serve no purpose right now. Okay, we're going to come in here, and we're going to see that there's a pedophile zombie. show you what happens. Zombie. You're like that. You're looking at my grenade launcher. I will blow your head off. Oh, there's a thing in my way. What? Whatever that is. Anyway, use the spade key here. Discard it. And let's see what we got here. Hey, hey it's a Leon. Leon. I'm sorry. Leon! Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Wow, Leon, you are just one hell of a cop. Just let the little girl run around the police station. He's a noob. What are you gonna do? Thanks, Leon, once again. You're great. Open this with a lockpick, and there are flame rounds inside. Hell yeah, for the grenade launcher. Inside here is the library. First thing we want to do is head upstairs and head all the way around the catwalk. Ignore the door on the right here that leads to another balcony on the third floor. That's no good. Most people first would look at this. You can see there's something there. Then they would try to get out of here, which is how you do this. And then they notice, oh my god, one looks like the other. Not quite is not correct. You want to move both of the first two on the left here to the right once and oh my god it slides it down and we get a red stone. This is the serpent stone I believe. It is in fact correct. And now we'll head this way and there is a red herb on the thing here. We'll get that. And we'll exit out through these double doors, which will take us onto the second floor balcony. We need to be careful, there's some zombies here. Oh my god, one's a little too close. This very much reminds me of the balcony above the dining room in one. You dead? Yes, you are in fact dead. Let's uh, lower the emergency ladder. Sweet sauce. Let's add some bullets to our gun. We gotta be careful. There's two zombies up here. Damn, I was shooting him like 500 times. He just wouldn't leave me the hell alone. I mean, I'm, I am Claire Redfield, but still. Are you dead? Jump at me too? No, you're dead. 
Yeah, we'll just leave the other one alive for now. He'll eventually just disappear. I know, it's, it's really weird. The lighter is on the uh, bench here. And there's yet another file that I will read. Secretary's Diary A, April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me to touch the statue again. Not to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. The 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. And once again, it's kind of pointing us in the direction that the chief of police is strange. Okay, Red Herb. Yeah, I'm just you know, managing a little bit here. Okay, just take the handgun and the handgun bullets. There are some ink ribbons by the typewriter there. I'll probably pick them up at some point. There are two zombies in here. For now, ignore both of them. They're losers. And uh, they won't be there when we come back. Okay, this hallway here. Head straight down and unlock this door. Ignore it for now. See that the guy's been pecked to death. And search his corpse for some bullets. Who are going to run away? <laughs> It sounded like Jaws. It's like old King Cole. So you can see that there's a helicopter actually that has crashed into the building. And we need to put that fire out before we can do much more. So let's go do that. What's up, hooker? Be careful here. Sometimes uh, perception can be a little off. Okay. There is two items in here that are important. The bow gun. There are also some ink ribbons, which I'll take. And the valve handle, which we need. This would be your second bow gun if you actually pick the first one up. You can't go through the door on the opposite side of the guardhouse here. Zombies will just push you out. It's like the... Uh, front door in the mansion in the first one where um all the dogs don't come through it service don't come through it you guys are probably wondering if there are sir uh cerberi actually that would be the plural of cerberus uh, in this game there are but there aren't really that many of them which is always a good thing they're so annoying yes sir reedy so, use the valve handle on the pipe here. And conveniently, the water tower here will spring a leak in the exact location we need it to. And it will extinguish the flames on this uh, raccoon police department uh, chopper. Now, that item ended up back in our inventory, which means that we still need it. Otherwise, it would have disappeared. So check the cockpit, and there are some handgun bullets. Uh, you gonna go in the door? There we go. Okay, we just want to backtrack now. You can kill these crows if you really wanted to. Um, the shotgun is actually the best weapon for them, so... We don't have one of them, and we never will, so... Sucks. I oh, know. 
Okay, we are going to hit in, into here. Well, somebody's yelling. <laughs> we have no way of removing the debris there for the time being. Okay, in this jar right here, it's giant vase. There are some more ink ribbons. Uh, on the counter here is actually what we want, which is the precinct key. As you can tell by its shape here, it is in the shape of a diamond, and therefore it becomes the diamond key. Okay, how many inventory spots do I have? Two. Not good enough. Not even close. 